Hello, hello guys and welcome to Savannah, Russia. Today we're at the homestead because today we're going to take a look at the foot wraps I was using in my latest videos. It is fair to say that I got more than a few questions about them. So uh, yeah, then we're going to take a look at today. In Russian they're called Parchanki. And there are many of you, when you see this, might think, what the is that? How can they use that? But it is a really, really awesome footwear or replacement for socks anyway. So let's take a look, see what the crazy Russians are wrapping their feet in. So the foot wraps of Pachanki is made out of fabric like this. It's a cotton twill. In Russian it's called Sarsha. It doesn't stretch a lot. It stretches a little bit in one direction, not so much in the other. So during the First and Second World War, soldiers were of course extensively using uh, jack boots. And they were also extensively using the foot wraps. But it was of course not because socks were not invented or anything like that. German soldiers during World War II was a good example. They were issued socks, of course, but uh, whenever they were marching and this and that, they would be using the pachanki or the foot wraps here. And the German soldiers even had another variant where they would use a smaller variant of these pachanki outside their wool socks. And that was to save the wear on the wool socks because when you're wearing a jack boot, your foot will move up and down a little bit and the heel on your socks will be worn out pretty fast. Here's a very good example. <laughs> this is my Norwegian army wool socks. It took one winter and they were completely worn out because I was wearing loose fitting boots of course because during the winter when it's very very cold minus 20, minus 30 C you do not want tight fitting boots you want them a little airspace around your feet so when they're done they look something like this or they should look something like this there's a quite large piece of fabric up here and there's a hole out here which is absolutely needed in the summer actually will ventilate out here but after a while these are tight fitting now after a while they will loosen a little bit up and they will sort of like loosely fit the shape of the foot but they will not unwind even it looks like it but they will not and so you can say your feet are not being constricted or strangled uh, like some socks will do anyway another thing is that this will sit up here this piece here will sit up here and because you'll be wearing a jack type boot you will have a little bit of circulation and ventilation this will stay dry and especially when you are wearing rubber boots in rubber boots your feet will definitely get wet doesn't matter if uh, if the if the weather is wet or dry, of course, from uh, perspiration and so on, your feet will get wet. And this fabric here, it dries pretty fast. I say, put it up in a summer day in the wind in the forest for 10-20 minutes and it's dry. This piece up here will of course stay dry and of course then you can unwind this foot wrap here and put this part on the lower part and the lower part up here and this will sort of like dry out during use. Also on the three day hunting trip I will uh, link a video to here where we hiked 17 kilometers through the forest for hours and hours. All four of us were using the Pachanki. Yes you can call this uh, a lost art of soldiering or something like this because it is a little bit of an art. It's not really difficult to, to make them but uh, it takes some practice to of course get it right and you know how to make the right size of the foot wrap and so on. But uh, maybe it's time to show you how to actually make these foot wraps. Put the foot on in a little bit of an angle, not too much. Take the corner here, fold it under the foot. You can pull here a little bit to make it tight on the foot. Fold it over at an angle. Pull a little bit here. And then pull this part because that's gonna adjust this part in here. Like that. We can pull both of them. And now we have two corners here. We'll fold over like this. Just a second, like this. And we have a little corner here that we can put in under this fold here. And then we're done. Take a boot on. 
we'll be able to see that it actually sits in here. So this upper part will be drier than the one covering, than the part covering your foot. So for good measure we can take the other foot as well, fold over and under, make sure there's no folds underneath. You can pull out here a little bit, pull on the heel, pull here to adjust the side. Go again over at an angle here. Let's fold it under. And we have the little corner here. We'll pull to get it straight in here. the corner here and squeeze up in here and for some funky reason it doesn't go anywhere so that's your foot wraps or your pot chunky this is actually quite needed during summer so the so they can ventilate if you don't like it you can pull it a little bit here but uh, that's how we do it for summer. So if you plan to test out how it is to use this system here, then uh, I can tell you you will get frustrated, but it's all about just getting it right. Millions and millions of soldiers have used this system and they have marched millions of kilometers, literally. Yeah, I hope you liked the video, I hope you found it interesting. Please check the links in the description and uh, as always I would appreciate if you share, and like and subscribe and all that stuff and uh, until next time, Get out and train and get it done and see you next time here in Russia.